to bring us up to the average would require four additional firefighters. So we also looked at a study that was done in 1987. In that report, they recommended an increase in staffing by four personnel. Also, when that report was written, we didn't have the major projects that we've, we've seen come in since then. Just some of the examples were Redding Woods, uh, Redding Commons, uh, Johnson Woods, uh, Walk the Walkers Brook Drive development. Factors of an increasing population and an increasing senior population and an increased number of large residential buildings will combine to cause an increased responses for, for us. Our, uh, emergency responses. Uh, these responses are just from uh, January 1st of this year to uh, December 1st of this year. This, this slide is an indication of um, the demographics of the patients we're transporting wow. and the 55 That's and over is um, a significant part of the patients that we're transporting. Which is our fastest growing segment of the population. Yes. Yep. No, what's, we, we do have assisted living uh, facilities that have come to Reading that have resulted in increased call volume right. and we do have um, uh, complexes that are specifically for um, older population that, that we do respond to quite regularly. Again, we're asking for five additional officers, three to fill the night shifts, one to fill the current opening on day shift, and an additional school resource officer to help out with the, uh, the calls for service at the uh, high school, <coughs> high school level, right? Primary. Calls and thefts. That can be credit card calls. A lot of we're getting a lot of complaints from elderly people who, who are getting you know scammed. And uh, like we tell them, don't don't talk, just hang the phone up. But, but a lot of them follow through, and sometimes end up having to call us because they end up in a scam. We take you for granted. <laughs> we take all of you that are up here for granted, in my opinion. In that in this regard, you know what's delivered for what's spent. Without an override, there will be seven teachers cut from the middle schools. That's seven less adults working with students ages 11 to 14 who are in a highly transitional stage of their life. A huge part of teaching at any level is forming trusting relationships with students so that they have a safe foundation from which to take academic risks and grow as inquisitive, resourceful, and unique individuals. It goes without saying that cutting the number of teachers available to students cuts the number of supportive adult interactions our children will have, clearly making it even harder to focus on healthy social and emotional development. At the same time, the budget team has had to recommend completely eliminating foreign language from the middle school, moving us further from our overarching goal of instilling a joy of learning and inspiring the innovative leaders of tomorrow. Put our kids first and provide them with the education and the opportunities that they deserve. Thank you. Reading sticking out like a sore thumb among every town that borders it as the sole district preventing students from accessing foreign language learning in middle school. It does not sit right with me and it certainly should not sit right with you. We are your future. We won't let you down. That's our promise. But please don't let us down. Don't cut our foreign languages. Don't cut our double block of VLA. Don't cut our teachers. Our futures are hanging in the balance here, and we're sort of hanging by a thread. Please don't cut that thread. Thank you.